Hello, my name is Tanisha Thomas and I am the winner of the first generation essay and here is the essay that I wrote. First generation, my second chance. When I think of what it means to me to be the first generation college student, I think of so much because it means so much. Being first means that you decided to start. I grew up in a broken home in an environment where getting by was the objective. Education was encouraged, but not in a, a priority. As I've grown, I've realized that this, that this is a cycle, and it is a choice. At that time, I chose better for myself. I did not want to become a product of my environment. I knew that I had to do something so that would not happen. This is when I decided to start my educational journey. Being first generation means that I can be a role model and an educator that I know I am to be, not only for me, but for my daughters. Being first generation means a new cycle away from poverty and an experience of knowledge to pass on. Being first generation means that I reduce any potential struggle for my children by choosing better right now. Being a first generation student has been the start of a new life, open doors, good experience, knowledge, and ultimately my second chance. What barriers and challenges have I faced or overcome during my time as a student? And what types of services would benefit first generation students? Well, I will say barriers and challenges are all I had come to know. I am the eldest child and I've always felt that I had to show my siblings the way since neither of our parents graduated or even thought to pursue college. I started my college journey early but lacked motivation. I also lacked resources and I lacked direction. I would say a barrier for me was learning to be honest with myself. Another barrier for me was the unknown and growing up knowing that it was possible to obtain a college education and a degree but not knowing where to start this journey. Another major barrier for me was death. It was the death of my little sister and the death of my grandmothers. Those people were a part of my cheer section. They made up a portion of my support system. I then became a mom, and at that moment I knew that I had to be all that I didn't see growing up. I have always believed that education was the key to ending that cycle that I was born into. I placed myself on an education hold because I had become overwhelmed with parenting and trying to escape a bad relationship. Long story short, the relationship ended in tragedy. My youngest daughter was hurt at the hands of her father he decided to commit suicide following the incident. So here I was, back at the beginning of the cycle, with an addition of two beautiful girls who I had an obligation to. I faced the challenges of depression, being, a, being single with one of my children, now having special needs, and having a very small support system. My father seemed to be the last person left in my support system. He was diagnosed with kidney cancer and failure. I spent a lot of my time worrying and struggling to keep my sanity for the sake of my girls and my dad. He spent four years without his kidney and seven years total on dialysis. While going through my silent depression, I made the choice to continue my education. My dad received his kidney and he said that it was his second chance. And he has been thriving since. The very way my dad felt about his new kidney is the way I felt about being a first generation student. It was my second chance. So what type of services would benefit a first generation student? I believe as a first generation student, finding the proper organization that identifies with your needs would be the most beneficial. Depending on your need, there are a wide range of organization and disability services to help. Fortunately, I learned that Ivy Tech Community College has several organizations to help. 
On my journey, I stumbled across TRIO Student Services. TRIO Student Services offers help to those with low income, disabilities, and those that are first generation college students. I happen to meet the criteria identifying with low income, having a disability, and being a first generation college student. Just saying those things alone sounds that life hasn't been in my favor. To be able to find an organization in such a trio that highlights what seems to be a crutch and help, helps one reverse their perspective on being capable has been every bit of fulfilling. Coming into contact with TRIO services has definitely been life-changing for me. It was an even greater challenge asking for help because I am so used to doing so much on my own. Being the eldest child, I was the one, of my, I was the one that my siblings went to. I had always felt that I had to have all the answers, though I didn't. This was my approach to many things. So TRIO was a great relief. Little did I know I was walking into a team of goal-oriented individuals that were a godsend to help me realize my potential and put my purpose into perspective. They also helped not only my educational journey, but my life journey as well. Beth, Carrie, Brian, and Felicia had provided resources I didn't know existed in personal TED Talks that I didn't know I needed. From leadership conferences, to book clubs, to theatrical shows, to financial literacy courses, I was exposed to a new set of experiences that has helped me mold and change my perspective as a being. I thought to myself, this is a cycle that I want to be a part of. This is the type of knowledge and experience I can pass on to my children. They confirmed all of my thoughts and ambitions on wanting to thrive through my adversity. This was very different from what I was exposed to growing up. And I was okay with that because I knew that it was a necessary part of my growth. Out of all of whom I came in contact with, Felicia Henry Nyland stood out. She saw right through me. Unknowingly, she gave me a mother's love with the vibe of a cool aunt. And the energy you get when you're able to hang out with your best friend after a long day. She was nothing less than amazing. She was the perfect mentor, the perfect blend of my sisters and grandmothers who I missed very much. She became Miss Felicia to my daughters and I. Miss Felicia had a distinctive voice, both singing and in speaking. I felt as if I had known her more than just a moment we had met. She felt like family. I was in awe by her perseverance and ability to be resilient after we exchanged life stories. She exemplified the words, never giving up. I admired that. I immediately identified with Miss Felicia because I saw a lot of myself in her. She has pushed me into becoming a better person, woman, and mom. She told me something that had stuck with me and that I will continue to carry and pass on. She said, life isn't going to be easy. It isn't going to be, and you are going to struggle. You are going to struggle. You have to make it worth it. You must struggle while working towards your goals or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Those words stuck with me in such a way I became fearless. I have grown so much using those words as a guide alone. I have obtained knowledge needed that I am now able to apply and turn my struggle into success. I no longer look at my struggle as a crutch or a setback. Miss Felicia's words and experience helped me transform my struggle into fuel. So now my struggle has given me the fuel to finish and the fuel to want more, the fuel to want to pour into other individuals just as she did for me. Felicia's perseverance was a, a very bold one at that, and even much bolder from heaven. I can hear her voice. I can 
feel her voice and I can feel her loving on me and I can feel her scolding me at the same time. I can channel her joking spirit and sarcasm when I need that extra push. It is because Felicia's influence and impact, I am now in a new cycle and I am set to graduate, now graduated, thanks to Felicia and Trio, because if them being a first generation wasn't a terrible experience, but a liberating and life changing one. I am truly grateful for the opportunity to have cross paths with such a beautiful spirit and soul. I am thankful that even such programs even exist. I can say that I am truly proud to be a first generation student. Choosing to start and being a part of TRIO had helped me break and end a cycle. Being a first generation student has been my second chance. Thank you.